I mentioned before that when solving a system of equations using a matrix and these row operations, the hardest part is the first step, trying to get the one up in the upper left. Once you've got that, everything's pretty step by step and everything just happens. But figuring out what you need to do to get that one can be very tricky. One trick that can be used is take your first numbers, the 7 and the 4 in this case, and start writing out multiples. So we've got 7, we've got 14, we've got 21, 28, and so on. And if I start writing multiples of 4, I've got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, and so on. As soon as you've got a number that's common to both lists, you can stop writing them. So that's why I stopped each of these at 28. If it doesn't happen by the time you've got the same number in each, it'll never happen. What you're looking for is a number that's one away from the, on the top and the bottom. So there's a couple of different choices we could use here. 21 and 20 would be a choice. But there's a smaller choice, so I'm going to go ahead and use 7 and 8. The basic idea is that since 8 minus 7 equals 1, we can use these things to get there. So, let's see. Uh, first of all, that 4 needs to be an 8. Well, I guess first of all, even before that, I should put everything into a matrix. Now that 4 needs to be an 8, so I'll just multiply the second row by 2. So I've got 7, negative 2, 3, and then that becomes an 8, a 6, and a 20. Now, like I said, if I subtract those, or in this case, I would do row 2 becomes negative 1 row 1 added to row 2. Then I get a 1, though in this case it's in the wrong place. Let's see, 2, that would give me an 8 and a 17. Well, but if I got a 1 down in the lower left, now I just have to swap the two rows. Now that I've got the 1, everything else follows just like before. So, next step is to zero out this lower left. So row 2 becomes negative 7, row 1 added to row 2. And this is actually going to be annoyingly big numbers, but that's okay. We'll make it work. I get a 0. I get negative 56, and negative 2 is negative 58. And negative 7 times 17 is negative 119 plus 3 is negative 116. This can happen when we're dealing with this sort of stuff. We end up with numbers that are pretty big, but the next step fixes it. Because the next step is to get a 1 right there. So row 2 becomes negative 158 row 2. I get the 1, 8, 17, and I get 0, 1, 2. Last thing is to turn this 8 up here into a 0. So the opposite sign of an 8 is a negative 8. So row 1 becomes negative 8, row 2, added to row 1.
not changing the second row that becomes a 0 negative 16 added to 17 gives me a 1 so x is 1 and y is 2 and there you've got it but sometimes that doesn't help if I look here I mean I said if we ever get the same number in our list it's not going to work and our very first number in each list is the same they're both threes unfortunately in this case there's no way of doing it using whole numbers I'll go ahead and slap everything into a matrix and then to get that one in the upper left I'll just go ahead and say row one is one-third rows row one I don't like doing this if I can avoid it which is why I always try to but this does always work no matter what multiplying by the reciprocal could get you a one you just then have to deal with fractions from there on out so I get a one a two-thirds and a negative four-thirds and then from there everything I'm gonna to have to do the fraction math but other than that I'm gonna go ahead and keep going this normal so row 2 becomes negative 3 row 1 added to row 2 not changing the first one negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 added to 3 is 0 that's the whole point of that negative 3 times 2 thirds is negative 2 so that's a negative 3 a positive 4 added to 2 gives me a 6 then I can do multiply by the reciprocal there row 2 becomes negative 1 third row 2 now I can do I've got a zero out the top right so row one becomes negative two-thirds row two added to row one not changing the second row whole point is to make that a zero negative two-thirds times negative two is positive four-thirds added to negative four-thirds makes it a zero so notice that even though we had fraction math along the way that we had to do, we did get whole number answers in the end. And that can certainly happen. It can also happen that you get fraction answers. It all depends. But the point is, this multiplying by the reciprocal will always work to get a 1 there. But it does make the intermediate steps after that harder because you've got to deal with the fractions.